Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you this uh, Buago 118 scale die cast with full opening part so this is the Bugatti Devo uh, I have this one in uh, exactly the same one from the main stove version for the uh, 124 scale and then uh, I give that one away and then decided to get the white version from a double horse from China and uh, unfortunately I'm not really that keen on it even though I do like the, all the features of the uh, you know LED lights and all the uh, nice paint jobs but the main reason why I did not like that white one was the, uh, the wheel gap was quite significant and so that's why I didn't get it back so I decided to get the finally 118 skill and decided to settle that one as a final and I was reluctant to get this for all the, the red one and they have a red one as well I think they will be the new color scheme which is the white one in the future but I got this one from the eBay for about uh, 32 pounds something like that so which is not really that bad at all you know this is fairly cheap um, so it is definitely the lowest uh, the cheapest <laughs> motor cars I have in my collection the same with the uh, Lamborghini, you know, Vision GT and stuff like that. But the uh, considering that the price that you know you I pay for, it's really not that bad at all. I'm mean, surprised you say that. You know, you have a brake disc and caliper, and you do have a nice paint jobs on the uh, all the body parts and all the stuff. There is no lump or you know any bump or anything like that. And also, you do have a windows. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised to say that this is, you know, it's very budget model and it, it has windows on it. I don't know how it's happened. And so you do have a nice front grills and the, uh, you know, all this stuff. But again, they're all sealed. Uh, I'm sure that in the rear one, they are actually, you know, see-through mesh. But uh, unfortunately, you don't get this kind of stuff here. And then you do have the uh, trunk that you can actually open, but there isn't anything there. There is no carpet, you know, don't expect too much here because this is a very basic model. You know, it's not even signature series. But um, I'm grateful that they provided with the uh, nice decent interiors and also the, um, you know, little windows and stuff like that. So I'm happy with that. The light detail is actually not too bad and uh, you do have the nice little uh, painted effects on the top as well. The carbon fiber effects are not that good. I mean, this is the worst carbon fiber effects from the Buago I have ever seen. I mean, some of the uh, carbon fiber from the uh, Lamborghini CN and stuff, they seem to be better than this Devo, to be honest. But hey ho, I'm not complaining with that. You know, this is only 30 pounds, so what can I say? Um, so on the interior wise, this is where the efforts they put efforts into it. I mean, clearly you can tell that, that they put a lot of different paint jobs, and then you got passenger side and driver side are two different color, and also the you got the dials and stuff. They are actually you know you can see all the sticker that is actually put together. All the steering wheels had a little carbon fiber effect as well and they do link with the steering wheel so that is also a bonus and you got all the nice silver painted stuff as well definitely better than Ferrari SF90 that I have for sure so this is you know <laughs> this is even cheaper but uh, they do put efforts into it and you know uh, you gotta give them credit for that and uh, yeah you got a French flex and you know uh, I don't know if you guys know about it right so Bugatti is actually a French <laughs> uh, first I thought hang on Bugatti that sounds like Italian but actually it's not it's a French that's why uh, the company is French but the name is Italian so <laughs> it's so confusing you know that's why they have the French uh, badge on the uh, on their car so there we are it's actually owned by Volkswagen and those of you who don't know about Bugatti and this is one of the most expensive car in the world so Bugatti is models are always expensive and they are all ridiculously you know uh, overpriced but then again this is a status thing for the celebrity and rich people i suppose anyway so let's go back to the cars here and then the spoiler doesn't lift up or anything which is a shame and then it would be nice to have a little bit logo like my smaller 124 skill from double horse that's saying that you got a little bit 3b and stuff like that so 
that'd be nice the engine is actually dead i mean you, you can't take out any of these pieces here unfortunately so that's how it is and on the tail light on the back here is surprisingly quite well detailed you know in a real car they are like an individual little led light so it makes it look like 3d effects in here they try to mimic that but it's not that great but it's also not that bad either so you know i can accept that you know to be honest so you got bugatti logo here and then you got underneath you got some exhaust pipe and stuff like that so overall i gotta say it's not a bad model uh, for the price i pay for um yeah i'm fairly happy with that uh, i wish that they use a little bit better plastic and stuff for the interiors um but then again this is the 30 pound budget you know so what can i say anyway from far away if you put it on a shelf it does actually looks not too bad but from close up it's probably not that good as the uh, some of the uh, you know uh, model so anyway so i'm fairly happy with that so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video cheers